One of the most popular tech products on the market today has to be drones. You see them everywhere. And to learn more about what's the latest and greatest in drone technology, I got Brent Dewall here from 3D Robotics. Brent, thanks for joining us. Hey, great to be here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit, this is the first time I've heard of 3D Robotics. What is this all about? Well, 3D Robotics has been around for quite a while. We were founded by Chris Anderson. Everybody knows him as the editor-in-chief of Wired Magazine. And what we have in Solo is the world's first smart drone. And what's great about it is we have so many computers in here, it makes it super simple to fly. So we have a flight controller based on open source software that's really robust, really reliable. And we have two one gigahertz computers, one in Solo and one in the controller. And that allows us to do all kinds of great cinematic photography. So when you say it's a smart drone, what is really smart about it? Solo's going to use GPS and do most of the flying itself, so you can focus on getting exactly the shot you want. So we have a bunch of uh, pre-programmed shots that are selfie and orbit, things that are very difficult to do. And so for people who really want to get great shots but don't necessarily want to become a drone hobbyist, this is the product for them. They can very quickly get up to speed and work on making the shots just look cinematic and breathtaking. It's kind of like when you think of cameras, you know, they have like the auto mode. And it seems like you're putting that kind of technology, that auto kind of stuff inside your drone. Absolutely, because often sometimes in drones you'll find that people, one person is flying, another person is running the camera. This allows you to do everything all by yourself. And because we integrate with GoPro, you can also start and stop the camera so you're not endlessly editing footage. And with a GoPro, you continue to get those great results, beautiful pictures. Okay, Brent. I love drones, okay? Don't get me wrong, I love drones, but I'm very, very nervous about you know, flying one. How much expertise do you need to get this up in the air? It's automatic takeoff and landing. When you take it out of the box, all the performance is set to medium. So even if you're pressing the controls really fast and you're not very smooth, it's going to move slowly. So as you learn, you can kind of take the training wheels off and become a better pilot. Practice is absolutely essential, but we've made it as safe and comfortable as possible. So Brent, what kind of price points are we looking at over here? Well, you use your own phone or tablet as the control device. The controller and the Solo, $12.99, you can put a GoPro on it. But if you want really smooth footage for $4.99, you can buy this gimbal attachment that makes the flight super smooth. So even if it's windy, Solo's going to give you great stable shots. I think for a lot of people, that's a good investment. You don't want to shortchange without the gimbal because you get that perfect image stabilization. Absolutely, and if you want that cinematic shot, the gimbal's going to give it to you. Now, is this made for videographers or just like hobbyists? Well, it's made for anybody who wants to get up in the sky and get a new perspective. So there's a lot of people using it for inspection, a lot of interest in search and rescue, and of course, all the GoPro people who have their crazy lives that they want to get a new perspective on. So Brent, where do people go to get more information about 3D Robotics? Just go to 3DRobotics.com. We've got all kinds of information about learning to fly and also videos on what the whole process is about. Well, flying a drone's been on my to-do list for about two years. I think the first one I'm going to do is from 3D Robotics. Thanks, Brent. Thank you.